Yes, dear friends, today I will tell you about law of conservation energy and law of conservation mechanical energy. Both the things will be taught to you. So first I write here, law of conservation. Conservation of energy. I told you meaning of conservation means to keep a thing as such means to keep any quantity intact neither to increase nor to change shape or size or there should occur no change at all that thing is called conserved so according to this law according to law of conservation of energy of energy the energy the energy can neither energy can neither be destroyed destroyed no created energy can neither be created nor destroyed <coughs> means energy of the system and hence energy remains same it can be it can be transformed from one form to another. For example, electric generator, electric generator, for example, electric generator converts mechanical energy into electrical energy or your electric motor converts electrical into mechanical energy and many transformation of energy from one to another form keep on taking place around us when we speak for microphone microphone converts sound energy into electrical energy and then speaker again converts electrical into sound energy solar cell Nowadays, it is a, another method of harvesting solar energy into useful electrical energy, solar cell. You will learn class 12. There are some PN junction diodes which converts light energy into electrical energy without any biasing. Actually, no battery is required to be connected. Then simply absorb energy, light energy and convert them into electric energy. So this transformation keeps on taking place every time. The energy can neither be created nor destroyed. Even energy can be turned into mass and mass into energy. Energy can be turned into mass and mass into energy. 
अकॉर्डिंग टू क्वेश्चन लिख सकते हैं आप यहां इविन इविन एनर्जी एंड मास आर द फॉर्म ऑफ फॉर्म ऑफ ईच अदर अकॉर्डिंग टू क्वेशन अकॉर्डिंग टू आइंस्टाइन मास एनर्जी रिलेशन दैट इज इक्वल टू एम सी स्क्वायर एम द मास सी द स्पीड ऑफ लाइट बट अनफॉर्चुनेटली स्टिल वी आर नॉट एबल टू कन्वर्ट एनर्जी इन टू मास मास इज कन्वर्ट टू एनर्जी इन न्यूक्लियर रिएक्टर्स है ना वी गोट सम टेक्निक वेयर न्यूक्लियाई ऑफ हैवी एलिमेंट्स लाइक यूरेनियम आर ब्रोकन इन टू लाइट न्यूक्लियाई एंड वेन इन न्यूक्लियस इज ब्रोकन then some mass disappears which appears in the form of energy but directly i have this mass and i can convert energy for example you take match box you rub the stick of match box uh, on the surface and uh, that produce heat and uh, just if you rub your hand and convert macaron into electrical energy such a method is not known to us if we get this thing then the problem of energy crisis will disappear so so it was law of kinetic energy i told you mechanical energy is form of energy which is possessed by a body due to its position configuration or motion so that is called mechanical energy तो मैकेनिक एनर्जी आल्सो कंजर्व बट वैन उसकी फॉर दैट वी हैव सम कंडीशन तो लॉ ऑफ कंजर्वेशन ऑफ लॉ ऑफ कंजर्वेशन ऑफ मैकेनिकल एनर्जी मैकेनिकल एनर्जी i told you mechanical energy is that energy which a system possess due to position configuration structure or motion so what is this law hey bhai according to this law the energy of a system which energy mechanical energy of a system remains conserved according to this law to this law the mechanical energy mechanical energy of a system remains constant in the absence of dissipative forces dissipative forces like force of friction generally students ask me what is the meaning of dissipative forces that force which convert mechanical energy into heat or sound or light 
they are called dissipatory forces. So I wrote here, according to this law, the magnetity of a system remains constant in the absence of dissipatory forces. If forces like friction are absent, then magnetity remains same. We can prove it here by using concept of kinetic energy and potential energy. Have I? The proof of law of conservation. of mechanical energy. Some viewer keep on telling their feedback to me, but very few. So please tell me if you feel any difficulty regarding OS, regarding concept, regarding uh, writing on the board. So here we will prove it. Suppose the ground here and there is a point A at height X from the surface. We place a body of mass M here. Have I? So at this height, it has it is at rest, but it has certain height x. So it has some energy. This board potential energy. Kind of zero. Now if we release it and to far a distance x, it will keep on falling. There is point B which is a distance x from the top most. Then while falling freely it will give some energy. So this height x so this will be h minus x. This will be h minus x. So it will have panic and potential growth. And when finally it is the ground at point C, before just reaching, because it is on the ground, so it will be having only Kinetic energy when it just strikes the ground. I mean, so let in figure, let in figure a body of mass is more than it placed, it placed at height. is known as from ground at point A body being at rest has energy in the form of potential energy. energy. You know potential energy function of position. So UA is equal to MGH. This is the total energy possessed by body at point A. Now we release it. Now let the body release to fall freely. Let the body be allowed to fall freely. 
to verb freely. There is a point B. at distance x, the height of point B from ground, from ground. Equal to x minus x. Velocity gain by body after falling. Distance x is given by v square equal to zero plus two g x means v square is equal to carry two g x. So total energy of body at point B. At point B, body has some velocity and is at height h minus x. So it possesses energy in the form of kinetic and potential. Uh, 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 so at point B, so at point B, body has. Energy in the form of potential energy potential and kinetic. Kinetic. That is U B is equal to M G into F minus X potential energy. With respect to ground, it is at height H minus X plus half M V square. V square is 2 G X. So M G into H minus X plus half M into 2gx if we solve it ub total energy is mg h minus mgx plus mgx so it is mgh energy at point b is again mgh now when body reaches C, at point C, the height is 0. When body reaches point B, point C, on the ground when body sorry, when body reaches point C on the ground then its velocity at C 
is b square equal to 0 plus 2gh height 0 so you see I mean mgh 0 plus half mb square here b square equal to 2gh so u c equal to m g x. From equation 1, 2, 3, we find total energy same. Here while falling body freely means there is no force. Uh, only the gravitational force there. That is internal force between the earth and the body. Force of attraction between earth and the body is called internal force there is no accelerating force here other than internal force so from equation 1 2 and 3 we say yeah, we can say that total mechanical energy constant that mechanical energy mechanical energy is conserved okay. so this is why something about people ask the graph between potential energy and energy during free fall suppose here it is body a height x Sorry, here we represent energy and height x. At zero height, the energy, for energy was zero. And at height x, it becomes maximum here. So this graph will be the graph of potential energy, PE. This side we take potential energy at, at and here x. At when x equal to 0, velocity of body was maximum, so kind of maximum, and at height as body comes to rest, so kind of energy comes 0. But some of this and this remain this every point here and here. So that way, mechanical energy remains conserved in the absence of here the energy ux. Huh? Energy. I should write here. Uh, you actually can write. All right. High distance from ground. From ground. X. Here. Uh, X equal to X. So this was all about the concept of conservation of mechanical energy. There are many other examples when a spring is loaded with some mass. So when a spring is stays, it is stored energy in the form of spring energy, you know, potential energy. And when mass moves, it gains velocity in the form of kind energy. And that remains constant. Thank you. मिलते हैं फिर नेक्स्ट वीडियो